morning my dear friends okay now it's the day two and today we will talk about the relation between the artist and his work it's very important point but before we must categorize the artists because you have many categories of artists Nobody can know all the categories, but anyway, there are many categories. Okay. The first category is the artist. I talk about a painter. Who they painting something, they see it. For example, a paisage, a portrait. Uh, uh, a car, a tree, a uh, house. He see what he paint. <clears throat> so this kind of artist use the techniques more, m much than the feelings. On abstract, on abstract art, you can find the real feelings expression on the artist because it's abstract. Okay, this is the first kind of artist, the artist who he see what he paint. And you have the second kind of artist, uh, like me, I am artist and uh, I don't see what I paint, but I paint what I want to see. I talk about abstract now. So you see you have many, it's, very, it's a very big difference between the two kinds of artists because the first one is more techniques and less creative. The second one is more creative but less technique. This is the first point. On the other way you have a vision about the artist. Many people think artists are poor, are alcoholic, he never sell any paintings, uh, he li his life is very hard because uh, maybe people don't like what he paint, but this is not all the artists. You know, I want to talk to you about new kind of artists. It's not a new, but maybe many people don't know this. The relation between artist and his artwork. When you express your feelings on the, on the canvas, on the painting, it's like you give a confidence. It's like you give a part of you. It's like you share what you have inside yourself. So, when you see, like me, I'm living between all my paintings. I have more than 120 paintings around me. This is not means I'm living with art piece. This means I'm living with each part of me. Because it's my feeling. And finally, every day when I wake up, my paintings, it's like the mirror. Not the mirror give me the image of my face, of my body, of my haircut, no. This mirror give me the image of what I have inside myself. So this is why the relation between me and my paintings is very, 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 very strong. For example, I will never uh, be alcoholic because I don't sell a painting, but maybe I can be uh, not good because I sell it. Because it's like I give some part of me to other and the other give me only money. I hope you can understand this little point. During long time I, asked, I was asked myself why one some some client come on my home gallery and ask me how much is this paintings, I have problem to answer. It was not because I'm shy or I don't like money or something like this. 
It's about how can you tell me how can you give a price for our feelings? It's impossible. It's like you tell me how much is your love? You love feelings. It's not logic, but anyway, I know it's very strong points, but this point is very important. It's very important because this is I give you the example when you can realize not all artists can give his artwork because finally this artwork is him what he have inside him for example you can offer and feelings one feelings i give you my love it's free but you can't sell it For example, with all my many paintings around me, if somebody come and ask me, I need the paintings, I really prefer he make me an order and I will make it his paintings because if I have a contact with him, I see him, I, I can know the personality of the client. I can talk with him, I know, yes, okay, what he have, in, not what he have inside him, but what kind of personality it is. I can produce or transcribe his identity on this painting. But all the paintings around me now represent my own identity. This is why it's so hard for me to separate this painting to me. I give you an example of a big, a big artist of pop art, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol never make a paintings on his own mind. He make a paintings only when customer comes and give an order. And he make the portrait of this client. This is why Andy Warhol, on this way, he cut all the relation, the beautiful relation between himself and his artwork when he sell it. It's very clever way. You have some artist, customer ask him, okay, come. You, I need uh, 50 paintings with these stems and he do it on three, four, five, six months and uh, he sell it. This is the good way of art business, but it is a good way of real artist feelings. All things on this world have a price, but not feelings. You can't sell what you feel, because if you sell what you feel, you will feel very bad. So now it's the morning. It's 9.20 morning and uh, it's the day two of my videos and uh, what I talked on these videos, it's very important. I will make another videos today, later, but uh, step by step, it's the better way to try to understand what uh, many artists feel inside themselves. You know, you can't or you can, but it's not easy to understand what I say.